Hey everyone, it's January 6th, and that means that if today is your birthday, you share your birthday with Vincent Johnson, a serial killer best known as the Brooklyn Strangler, and that's him right there. Uh, Johnson was born in Brooklyn in 1969 and grew up in a turbulent household, growing to hate his mother, especially dreading Thursdays, the one day a week when his mother was home from work. He grew up to become uh, homeless and addicted to crack cocaine and sleeping under bridges in the Williamsburg area of Brooklyn. In 1999, prostitutes began to turn up dead in the area, and police rounded up more than 30 men who were known associates of the women, testing their DNA. One of them gave his DNA sample that cleared him from being a suspect, but he befriended the police working on the Brooklyn North Homicide Task Force, and he told them about another homeless man who he had done crack cocaine with, who told him about his predilections towards sadomasochistic sex. The man he identified was Vincent Johnson, who was only 5'3 and 130 pounds, so he stood out on the street. Uh, police brought him in. He refused to provide a DNA sample, but when he left the station, detectives tailed him, and they saw him spit in a cup. So they ran, scooped up the cup, and tested the saliva in it, and found that the DNA in his saliva matched samples found on multiple murder victims. When he was informed that his DNA was found on four dead women, Johnson broke down and confessed to killing five women all of whom were drug addicts that had arrest records for prostitution. Police believe that he had sex with his victims before strangling them with whatever he had available. Shoelaces, drawstrings from sweatpants, electrical cables, even scraps of cloth. He then wrapped them in what he had used to kill them and didn't even bother trying to hide the bodies. He is believed to have killed a sixth woman, but denies involvement in her death. Uh, Johnson told investigators that he was acting out of his deep-seated hatred of his mother, killing the women on Thursdays, uh, the day his mother used to be home from work. And he felt little, if any, guilt over his actions. He is now serving life without the possibility of parole in upstate New York. And if today was your birthday, I hope you had a very good day learning about your birthday twin. If today is not your birthday, please send it to somebody you know who is born on January 6th so they can find out all about who they share their birthday with. Have a good day.